Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana wabunge na wana media. Mimi ni Alfonso Gonda ama Gonda Ogonda na mimi mara nyingi nasema uongozi wa South Sea inaniita na inaniambia ndugu kuja unichukue kwa sababu I'm lonely. The leadership of South Sea is very lonely and I'm taking it. This is the time the youth must stand for the youth. Nikiingia kwa mada ya leo mimi nitaongea kwa mada moja tu ambayo mwanabunge fulani hapa alileta ambayo inauliza in 2027 Are we going to elect leaders for cheap popularity or are we going to use their scorecard? It has been the hardest year in the history of Kenya where the economy has been down and a lot of public looting has taken place. We want sober leadership. We want a leadership that is people centered. We want a leadership that is going to consider Mama Mboga yule ambaye alidanganywa at wao ndio watakuwa cabinet secretaries. Mama Mboga amebaki pale kwa street akikata mboga ambayo mbeu yake pia imepanda. Hii ndio serikali ndio wakati tunafaa kuangalia wale vijana ambao waliambiwa wao kama hustlers watakuwa wanatembea tu kwa corridors of state house. This is the time we want to do what we call evaluation. Have, have there been a follow up to the campaign propaganda that were preached by the current oppressive regime. Na mimi nataka kusema mambo haya ma mawili. Kama unataka kuangalia na ujue kiongozi ametoka mbali na yaenda mbali ni kiongozi ambaye ako humble na alikuwa na watu before elections na amekuwa na watu during elections na bado ako na watu after elections na hii ndio maana saa zingine mimi nasema na tofauti na vijana wengine kwa, kwa mawazo ukiangalia kiongozi ambaye anasimamia MP wa Langata Felix Oduorko the his excellency one and only MP who is consistently doing his job I want to applaud him for remaining true to his people. Ukiangalia mimi kama mkaji wa Langata, I'm so proud to be associated with MP Jalango. South Sea Ward, Kongoni Secondary imejengwa. Ukienda Karen Ward, Karen Sea Secondary imejengwa na hall iko pale ya, ya, ya kukulia. Hawa other MPs unasikia yeye yeah, ako Mombasa ati ameenda huko kutangaza vitu hakuna. You are not yet a national leader. Watu wako wa constituency yako hawajawahi kuona na macho. Wewe uko uko uko, uko mambo ya uko mambo ya Mombasa, mambo ya Kiambu, mambo ya Nairobi, mambo ya wapi? And you know very clearly, your constituents are crying. Tunaomba viongozi wetu ambao tulibachagua, stay with your constituents, serve your constituents, deliver to your constituents kwa sababu baba Raila Amolo Odinga akiwa nyakati alisema, wewe hujasaa hata watu wako, umeanza tamaa ya ukubwa. Mtu umekosa MCA one term unataka kukua sijui governor you must serve your people first before you can desire to serve other people you cannot go to weed in other people's garden when the weeds are choking your own crops asanteni sana Mungu awabariki Okay kwa majina ni blessing heart of the lion mimi nataka kuongelea mambo ya huyu huyu mama mwenye amenyimo haki yake. Tunasema Kiptum alikuwa na mwanamke nje. Na Kiptum amepatia huyu dada amewalizana na huyu dada na sisi tunasema we ambaye ni judge, ambaye ni mother kaome, wacha kunyima huyu mama haki yake. Ile kitu tunasema Kiptum ndo alikuwa anasikia utamu na hata ako kwa kaburi bado ako ndani ya jeneza na bado ako na ile utamu ya huyu mama. Alipatia huyu mama, hiyo utamu alipata kwa huyu mama, wewe haukukua hapo. Nyinyi hamukukua hapo. Muache kumunyima haki yake. Muache kumunyima haki kwa sababu yeye ni kabila ingine Rais ulisema ukiingia utakuwa rais wa makabila zote au kusema utakuwa rais wa kabila moja. Kwa sababu huyu ni mjaluo ndio kwa maana mnamnyima haki yake. Tumesema tutaandamana mkijaribu kunyima huyu mama haki yake. Mimi nakwambia lazima mtampatia haki yake kwa sababu walikuwa wakisikia utamu kwa kitanda. Hamkukua hapo hivyo. Tunasema hata kituma akiwa kwa jeneza tetea bibi yako. Maana huyo ni bibi yako. Ulikuwa unadanganya bibi yako au na mwingine na kumbe uko na mwingine. Ile kitu tunasema lazima huyu dada apee haki yake. 
na ukikata kumpea haki yake hizo koti tutazikujia na tutaziwasha moto hatutaki kujua lazima apewe haki yake wanawake waote kudharauliwa ati mnasema ati wanawake ati watu wakikufa nini kama alikuwa anasikia utamu kwa huyo mwanamke mbona saa hii mnamnyima haki yake mumpatie haki yake ile kitu yenye kiko apewe haki yake haijalishi ni kabila gani haijalishi ametoka wapi apewe haki yake na hiyo ndio hiyo ndio tumefunga ndio final apewe haki yake Waja ni sema kitu alafu waende. Ah, okay. uh, naomba wivi nyinyi nyinyi watu wanaona na wenye wanasherekodi. Mtu yeyote mwenye anataka kwenda NYS kama ni wewe ama mtoto yako. Saa hii saa hii. Kuja kwangu, usikuje kesho saa hii saa hii kwa nyumba. Sai kwangu ni hapa. Kiswahili kubwa. All right. All right. Alright kitu ya kwanza asante sana watu wa media asante sana watu ni mimi asante sana watu wa Jakaranda wenzangu wanabunge na asante sana baba Raila Molo Odinga kitu ya kwanza chenye mimi nataka kusema siku ya leo huyo mwanabunge alikuwa hapa ameongea kuhusu justice for girl child Nasema hivyo sababu gani? Hakuna organization nimetokelezea yenye nasimama na watoto wasichana. Wasichana wanadhulumiwa, wananyanyaswa, wanaumwa roho, wanaume wamegeuza roho ya wasichana sasa hii kama mapera. Wanaumwa kadogo, wanaumwa kadogo. Girl child lazima apewe nafasi yake na haki yake kwa hii taifa. Hakuna mahali niandikwa kijana ama mwanaume aonje wasichana wote. Justice for girl child. We are appealing for that sababu gani? Watu wanaweza wasichana, wasichana wanateseka. Msichana kuna miaka kumi na mbili mtu ameshamuongeza utamu. Huyu mtoto atahisi vizuri. Haya shule. Akifika miaka kumi na mbili na nusu amesaza mtoto mwenye ako Ako na afu gine Hapo hapa ana ndo Ako na afu 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 ya Ana afu ya Afu ya Mdoto ako kwa tumbo Anazaa kama mtungi Alafu jangili mwenye memzalisha Ye ya na move on Na wanawake wengine Kafabali mtoto musichana Hii ni elimu kwe ikwenyu Tunajua Haikono mi ya kenya ya ikochini Tunajua Familia zedu ni fukara Tunajua Hakuna chakula ama kula vumilia. Sababu gani wasichana wana gine? Wana 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 nyeke nyeke. Sababu gani wasichana wanadanganywa na vijana? Kitu ya kwanza I'm appealing to ghetto girls. Mimi nimelewa ghetto, mzaliwa wa ghetto, ninakaa ghetto, naishi ghetto, nitakufa ghetto, nitakufa ghetto, na tunadhibe ghetto. Wasichana wana hawana ajira ya pili familia zao ni fugara hakuna chakula hata mashosho wamekuwa na kazi ngumu sana kwa sababu ya ghetto na kuzaa zao biobi <laughs> mashosho wao <laughs> wasichana wenye hawajasoma mimi nasema hivi bado kuna future msichana yeyote mwenye anasikia ako below 25 years yes ama 25 years kuenda anataka kusoma bado kuna future ndio yes. maana watu kama akina Usaid 